Hey, 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 it's an unstoppable day. I'm your host, Terrence Leftridge, and you are listening to The Unstoppable Story Show. If you've got an unstoppable story, then The Unstoppable Story Show is looking for you. Email us at terrence at unstoppablecoaching.com to get an interview for your Unstoppable Story. The Unstoppable Story Show with Terrence Lefteridge. Ordinary people, unstoppable stories. Yes, indeed. Welcome to another episode of Unstoppable Story Show with Terrence Lefteridge, where we talk to ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things and living an unstoppable life. I am Terrence Lefteridge, and I am a life accountability coach. We help you create your vision. We help you implement your vision, and we help you be accountable to making that vision a reality through strategies, through coaching, and through collaborations to help you move to the next level of your greatness. I am a author. I am a motivational speaker uh, with the Black Belt Speakers. And shout out to all the Black Belt Speakers who are listening to this show across the country. Looking forward to seeing you this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia for the Black Belt Speakers Speaker Camp in Atlanta, Georgia. And I am also someone who loves to help people have a platform, have a platform for their message, have a platform for their movement, have a platform for their cause. You know, it's one thing I know is that it is difficult to have engagement. It's difficult to get exposure. And it is difficult to do that without having to pull out thousands of dollars to make it happen. So what we do here at Unstoppable Stories with Coach Terrence is that we bridge that gap. We allow you to use our platform to share your message. And sometimes we know your message may be messy, but without the mess, there isn't a message. And so we use our platform to allow ordinary people like yourself to go ahead and share their message. Uh, I'm thanking you guys for joining us tonight, and I'm thanking our sponsors. Our sponsor is uh, The Unwelcome Committee. It's a book by Maureen Bobo, uh, Chastity Williams, as well as Khadija Ali, a uh, story of three women who are part of a committee that nobody wants to be a part of. It's a committee of those who have experienced loss. They're all widowers, and they're showing how they can go from loss to experiencing the joy in life. Check out their book, The Unwelcome Committee, by going to www.theunwelcomecommittee.com. Well, we've got a great show for you tonight, and you can listen here on blogtalkradio.com, or you can join me on the Unstoppable Story Show Facebook page. Go to facebook.com forward slash Unstoppable Stories. You'll see a wonderful marquee up there right now with the, these two great ladies that we're going to be having on the show today because we are talking about unstoppable women walking in their purpose. You know, the one thing I see as a speaker and as a coach, as I go to different conferences and different speaking engagements across the country, is that women, they get it. They understand what it means to be personally developed. They understand what it means to engage with other women uh, for a common cause. They understand what it means to collaborate so that everyone can move to the next level of their greatness. And we've got two women on the show this evening that we're going to showcase that are also doing the same things in different aspects of their lives. So 
we are going to jump right into the show. But if you know somebody, either there in Facebook land or here in Blog Talk Radio land, that you think should be on the show and listen to the show, then tell them to go ahead and dial in to 323-870-3764 or join us on Unstoppable Stories Show Facebook page where we're streaming live right now. So our first guest tonight is a entrepreneur here in the Chicagoland area and I had the chance to meet her via social media. And it's a wonderful thing how social media has changed the game over the last couple of years. What used to be six degrees of separation is now three degrees of separation and maybe even two or one. And it's out of those shorter degrees of separation that we are able to do great things. This internet is just exploding. And if used the right way, it will help you take your business to the next level, just like it's done for my good friend that we're going to start the show with tonight. Her name is Debbie George, and she's one of the members of Southside Networking Women, the Palos chapter. So let's bring her in and let her tell a little bit about herself, about the Networking Women chapter, and about a great event that they have coming up tomorrow night. So without further ado, welcome to the call, Debbie George. Debbie, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Hi, everybody. Hey, Debbie, how are you? I'm doing great, Karen. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Unstoppable Stories show. So, Debbie, why don't you take a couple of minutes to tell them who you are and uh, what, what's your business that you do right now? Okay. Uh, my name is Debbie George, as you heard, and I'm a fashion coach. Uh, I help women um, find fashionable clothing styles that will fit you, and so you can feel fabulous, so you can do um, be productive in your everyday life. I, I have partnered up with two companies, uh, Lulu Row and Linda Moore, to help me help you find um, stylish, fashionable clothing and footwear. Wow, a fashion coach. Is that a new title? Is that or is that something that's been around for quite some time? Well, I, I'm a fashion coach because I will coach you through the process of finding the proper fitting clothes, um, clothes that you um that you feel comfortable but also look the best according to your body shape, your um your style and shoes that will um fit your style too. That's why it's called Fashion Coach. So we actually, a branding coach helped me. I was rebranding myself, and she helped me come up with the name Fashion Coach. I love it. So I do more than just... Go ahead. Because you do more than just... Oh, that's okay. No, go ahead. I do more than just style the clothing and footwear. I'm not just selling you. I have to find stuff that's going to make you feel fabulous, because when you feel good and you look good, you do better in, in business. You're more productive. Excellent. Excellent. So Debbie George, the fashion coach, what made you decide to get in this arena? Of the fashion coach? Yes. Uh, well, maybe I always had it. Well, I always had an interest in fashion. I, I recently found that um, under a year ago, um, I wanted a new up and coming companies to partner with. So I researched and found I got sick in my current position. So I needed something new. And there just was a sign pointing. I always had um, that fashion sense and everything. So it just one day, I was, after talking to another coach, it just clicked. Good, good. So what did you used to do before you became a fashion coach? Oh, my God. I don't know. I've done quite a few things. I was, uh, I have an education degree actually in early childhood and I did for a number of years, like six, um, six or seven years, a nail, a licensed nail technician and the chemicals were getting me, um, very sick. Okay. So I it's, needed to change path. so it sounds like with everything that you did, there was always that common denominator about, uh, helping people feel good or, or helping people look good. Yes. Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. So do you? how long had you always had that desire to want to help people? Would you say it's something that just happened recently in life or something that you've been carrying throughout your life? 
No, I've always everything I've done have been has been about helping has been about helping others. Excellent. And that's what brought me to the South Side Networking, actually. Okay, so so tell us about that. What 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 was it about helping people that connected you with the South Side Networking women? Well, I, I've always been a big networker, and I like connecting other people. So when I found um, Julie, the president of Southside Networking, right away, I wanted to um, pull me. It was needed in the um, South Suburbs. Um, a chapter was needed. So I talked to Julie, and then we de- and then me and Sue Simon, we developed the um, Taylor Height, which we did the Anne Renee Cafe. We developed that to help um, just to help other members, um, help other female leaders. And bounce off the ideas off of one another, um, share our wisdom, resources. We're there to support one another and work together, kind of like a woman think tank, if you will. Okay. So how long how long has Southside Networking Women been uh, in creation? Okay. Well, Southside Networking Creation has been around three and a half years, and ours is one of the newest chapters, and we're going on eight months going into the fight. Uh, and there's now five chapters of the um, Southside Network, and we have five chapters. We have Kinley Park, Taylor Tight, two in Kinley. We have now a new nonprofit, and then we have Holden. Wow. So you've, you guys have experienced a lot of growth in three years of being uh, in creation, huh? Yes, correct. And only continuing to grow. So what? Why do you think that is? What do you think it is about the? What's first of all? What's the mission of Southside Networking Women, Debbie? The mission is um, we're uh, sharing our experiences. Female leaders, female leaders, where the members can learn to grow from sharing experiences, wisdom, resource, support each other to reach our full potential in our chosen field. Um, to celebrate femininity as a unique aspect. Access to our businesses and to build uh, relationships. And we also give back to the community. So that's a part of our um, mission, too. So, like, our chapter is working on giving back to animals. Um, we're doing paws. And the last one, we did personal products, personal hygiene products from Love Inc. Okay, cool. So every quarter, we take a new community so that we can be more, so that we need to be involved in the community, too. Okay. That's very important to our um that puts us apart. Now, how has being a part of Southside Networking Women helped you in your business as a fashion coach? Yes, it's helped me a lot. First of all, it helps me to find talking to the members before I found this new career path for me. It helps me to do that. Um it helps me, it it, it gives me the courage, um, the wisdom, the sharing ideas and bouncing things off of others. It's a big um, help with that. Okay, good. Now, you are the president of one of the newer chapters, the uh, Palos chapter, and you said it's been in existence for eight months, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. okay. Now, I understand we have another chapter president on the line with us as well uh, by the name of Alma Hill. Is that correct? Right, Debbie? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and bring Alma in. Alma Hill, also of the Southside Networking Women. Uh, Alma, are you on the call? Yes, I am. Good evening, Alma. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. Welcome to the Unstoppable Story Show with Terrence Leftridge. It's a pleasure to uh, finally get a chance to talk to you, and I'm looking forward to, to meeting you as well. Now, you are one of the chapter presidents of Southside Networking Women as well, right? Right. I have, I'm have. i the chapter lead for the Madison, Illinois um, chapter. Okay. So tell us, tell our audience a little bit about what you do, what your business is, and then what brought you to Southside Networking Women. Well, I have an e-commerce business um, that's called In the Mix Novelty Company. And my daughters and I, it's a family business, started the uh, business in uh, October of 2015. And we really have some unique novelty items where 
we uh, do cookie cutters, and we have one of our really um, famous, infamous uh, uh, cookie cutter called uh, the infamous Unicorn Rainbow Poop Cookie Cutter. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. And our whole focus is that we want to create lots of fun, lots, lots of laughter with friends and families. One of the things that my daughters have experienced is that when we baked together, when they were small, they remember those memories. And I'm told time and time again how those baking memories mean a lot to children so and their families. So our products are generally great stuff on um, um, stocking stuffers, presents, and so we sell directly on Amazon. We haven't gone to any other uh, landings yet, but uh, we're doing well. So we have cookie cutters from poop to unicorns to stars, and we're creating um, eventually a, a coloring book, and we have collectible cards. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, wow. So what brought you to Southside Networking Women? Well, I joined in 2014. Um, I got them off of meetup.com, and I was surprised, first, how they were relaxed, friendly, open. And it was, um, I had been in sales for over 30 years, and I had retired, and this was just such a great opportunity for me, because uh, I used to sell insurance. And uh, when the girls brought me into the business for in the mixed novelty company, I, I can't tell you how I sing the praises of Southside Networking Women. I have met graphic designers. I've met um, uh, social media people. I've met uh, public relations. And what I wanted to do for our particular cha chapter is that we needed workshops, things to make people feel that they accomplished the things when they got out of the workshop. Okay. And so we've had a number of different things like how to take professional photos with your, your iPhone or your Android, how to um, video, use your vi your, uh, the video with your, your cell phone, how to go on Facebook Live like and Periscope, how to use those. Things to let women who are not that technically savvy feel comfortable with using these unique venues of how to promote their business. I love it. And, you know, I actually had the opportunity to do that very similar presentation to uh, Debbie's group in the Palos chapter. Isn't that right, Debbie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm still talking about it, actually. Okay, so De Debbie yeah. and and then Alma, tell 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 our audience what this type of networking can, has been able to do for the the women the women entrepreneurs first, but then even the women who had been thinking about going into business in uh, your respective chapters. What has it done for them? Debbie, Debbie? why don't you go first? Okay. Okay. It gave them the tools. We we gave them the tools that they need to be successful in business. And we always listen to what the members want. So I'll survey the people and see what they're looking for and try to incorporate that in who I have be our speaker so that I can help them in the best way possible. Okay. And Alma, how has it empowered the, 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 the ladies in your chapter? Well, I'll give you an example. I had a, a lady who was looking for her, what we call our second second career, and she had no idea of what she wanted to do. She only had a concept. By going through our sessions on learning about banking, learning how to, um, uh, to give an elevated um, speech or about how you promote yourself, and just basically, one of the fundamentals about figuring out how you can, um, uh, this journey that you said for business, that you actually can produce and actualize it. Okay. 
And because of that, your women, what have, what have you found your women being able to do just uh, as part of being in your chapter? And, and how long has your chapter been in existence in Matson? We've been in, we've been in ex- existence since April of 2015. Um, I think what the women feel that they come to our chapter, it's not just being lectured to, but they have something right. solid that pertains to their business, assignment, something that they completed to build their business plan, not just a business plan, but their projection for here, what they're going to do with their business. Excellent. And well, I think you guys are doing a great job out there in the uh, south uh, suburbs of Chicagoland area. Uh, For those who are watching on Facebook Live right now, I've got the website for Southside Networking Women up online right now. You can see Alma Hill, the Matson chapter leader. And, And now we have Debbie George, the Palos chapter leader. And then We've got the the actual president of Southside Networking Women, Julie Rodriguez. She couldn't be on the call tonight, but uh, thank you so much for Julie's uh, support and interest in helping the women in the south suburbs of of Chicagoland area be all that they can be. Now, you guys are having a event tomorrow night. Is that not correct, Alma? Yeah. Yes, we are so excited about this. Um, we we are presenting in Bob Hawkinson Nissan in Madison. The car dealership is um, hosting us tomorrow at their corporate office um, for our showcase uh, uh, for Southside Networking Women. And it's it's tomorrow, Wednesday, September twenty eighth, from seven to nine. And what makes this so outstanding is gives us an opportunity to share what's going on with us and how successful we've been, and to encourage free new uh, free a free event for people to join and think about us for joining in our membership. We've got a couple of offers. You know, our annual membership is going to be after October thirty first, ninety nine dollars. But they can get the membership for sixty dollars, and if they, we have some group pricing too for forty five dollars if we bring if you have four people join. Wow, that's pretty good. And uh, looking on the web, yeah. looking on the website, it says you're going to learn about the South Side Networking Women. You're going to network with past event speakers, members, prospects, yeah. and chapter leaders. You get to applaud our local women business winners, scavenger hunt with successful women in business, and view our website with over 100 members in the directory. Wow. So there's going to be a lot going on there tomorrow night. So, Debbie, why should they come out to this event tomorrow night? Well, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot that you can learn. Uh, just for networking alone, talking to other people to help us celebrate. Also, we're going to launch our new website, which is exciting. That sounds great. Okay. Yeah, I think another raffles. thing is you yeah, have fantastic raffles. Bob and uh, really his team have been generous to give us a lot of um, offerings um, with like free oil changes. And we really are surprised of how much support they've been, and we're just so thankful for it. That sounds fabulous. Now, um, I, I hear you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have this this roundtable session or this this power uh, what this uh, what what's the terminology that you're using for it uh, or this roundtable fast dating type of thing going on there tomorrow night, right? Well, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like a speed networking, but what we wanted to do was to bring back our speakers, our previous speakers, and, and first of all, acknowledge them and thank them for their participation over the last two years about, you know, in helping us get the message out and provide such good learning. Excellent, excellent. So, so who are some of those speakers that are going to be there tomorrow night? 
Well, we've got one of our um, great speakers right now that's on online with us. Who might that be? Host, hosting the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Paris, Paris. Yes, yes, indeed. I am going to be there tomorrow night. Now, Mr. Unstoppable is going to be in the house at Hawkinson Ford. Thank you guys for uh, inviting me back. You know, it's it's always nice to uh, to be invited back with a group of uh, ladies who are doing great things and are really stepping out and coming out of their comfort zone to show the world that great things can happen when people collaborate together. So I appreciate the Absolutely. I appreciate the uh, the opportunity to come back before your group as a whole and and see what's happening not just in the Palos chapter but what's happening all around uh, the South suburbs. So if someone wants to come out to that event tomorrow night, is it too late to to get a ticket or what what do they need to do? Well, we're asking everyone if it's possible. For, to, um, to register online. There are several ways to register. Meetup.com, Eventbrite, or um, there's a link where it's HTTP, bit, L-Y, T-V, K-J, Cox. But they can see the link on Facebook. We have it available for them, which it make it very easy. And also, if you want to go to the event page, on the website, southsidenetworkingwomen.org, and go under events, you'll see that right at the top of the page. So uh, I, I, I would like you guys to stay on t- through the show to with our with our guests for our next segment uh, and just have an uh, opportunity to chop it up for about women uh, walking in their purpose Overall, not just through Southside Networking Women, but as your individual uh, endeavors, what what is meant to you to be walking in your purpose? But I want to give you an opportunity to answer it for yourselves right now. So, Debbie, let's start with you. What has it meant to you to to be an unstoppable woman entrepreneur who's walking in her purpose right now? Oh, good question. That's a good question. Um, let me think. What does it meant to me? Um, How does it feel getting up every morning, yeah. doing what it is you love to do, and helping people do it? I love it. It's, it I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's about that. Um, ever since I found this um, position, I feel refreshed. I feel I love helping. I love getting up in the morning. There's not a Monday to me. There's not like I hate Monday or any of that. It makes it makes every day is a good day. Every day is a good day. I love it. And how about you, Alma? What does it mean to be an unstoppable woman entrepreneur walking in your purpose? Well, I think the most important thing is the family aspect. My, I, this opportunity in creating this company has given me. An opportunity to use my creative flair and then also to network in a way that I never thought was possible to uh, avail myself from my learning as a sales rep, professional sales rep over the years. And I think what's the most important thing, too, is that you get a chance to see how you build a legacy for a company and also the impact to your customers, too. Excellent. Well, you know what? Thank you, ladies, for spending some time with us on the Unstoppable Story Show. You two are definitely unstoppable women who are walking in your purpose. And I appreciate you. I appreciate being introduced to you. And I'm looking forward to continuing to collaborate with you guys on future projects. If you want to tell us just real quickly, each one of you and uh, Alma, you can start first. If they want to, if people want to connect with you regarding your business, how can they get in contact with you? Well, um, it, they can email me. I also have we have a new website that we're very proud of that they can go on in the mix novelty company dot com, and it's in the mix novelty co period dot com. Excellent. 
Thank you, Alma. And Debbie, if they wanted to get in contact with the fashion coach, how can they get in contact with you? The best way to get in touch with me is through Facebook. Um, I have two Facebook pages, um, Lulu Rose, Debbie George, or um, Linda Moore with two L's, L-L-Y-N-D-A, Debbie George. Or also they can um, text me, 708-752-5397. Excellent. Well, again, thank you, ladies. Um, yes, Alma, you have one more thing? One other thing? Sure. Yeah, we have a, um, a baking club called the Mad Batter Baking Club on Facebook, and that's our experience of sharing recipes, showing the baking trends, and just having a lot of fun about what we do normally as women in taking care of our family. And that's Mad Batter uh, Club on Facebook? Mm -hmm. M A D. Mad batter baking. Why don't you spell it for them? M A D B M A B. I mean M A D B A T T E R batter baking club. Excellent. Well, again, thank you, ladies, for taking some time out of your schedule to be a part of the Unstoppable Story show. Uh, definitely, I'm going to put you back in the queue, and hopefully you can listen in for the rest of the show and then join in towards the end where we do a little roundtable discussion between all the women that will be on our show tonight. So thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so that was Debbie George and Alma Hill, both chapter presidents of the Southside Networking Women here in the Chicago, in the suburbs of the Chicagoland area. And you are listening to the un the Unstoppable Story Show with Terrence Leftridge, where we're talking to ordinary people with unstoppable stories. We're going to take a break and uh, do some commercials real quick, and then we will be right back with our next guest. The Unstoppable Story Show is sponsored by the Unwelcome Committee. Follow the journey of three women through one of life's most difficult challenges, becoming a young widow. Maureen Bobo, Chastity Williams, and Khadija Ali share three different perspectives of how becoming a widow and dealing with the process of grief changed their lives forever. To get your copy of the Unwelcome Committee book, go to theunwelcomecommittee.com. And you, we are back with the Unstoppable Story Show with Terrence Leftridge. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's show where we are talking to unstoppable women who are walking in their purpose. Thank you to our sponsor, the Unwelcome Committee, uh, authors Maureen Bobo, Chastity Williams, and Khadija Ali. Go to their website, theunwelcomecommittee.com, where you can get a copy of their book, The Unwelcome Committee, where these three ladies share their stories of loss and how they've been able to recover and now live life on the next level and help other widowers going through loss do the same thing it's a powerful book it's a great read and we here at the unstoppable story show highly recommend it again that's the unwelcome committee.com well we are back talking to unstoppable women walking in their purpose and we have another guest that we are going to bring on to the show her name is mary damiani now mary is the person the 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 connector of myself with the other two women that were previously on our show, Debbie George and Alma Hill of the Southside Networking Women. I had the opportunity to meet Debbie 
at a uh, BMI um, uh, uh, conference, not conference, a BMI meeting here in the South uh, sub sub suburbs, and she just enlightened the room with her expertise as well as her approachability and we've been able to talk to each other ever since and she has done a great job of continuing to reach out to me and connect me with her circle of influence. She is a wellness specialist and she works with a company called Melaluca and I'm going to let her tell you more about who she is, what she does, and more importantly, why she's an unstoppable woman walking in her purpose. So let's welcome to the show live now, Mary Damiani. Mary, are you on the call? Well, I sure am, and I am excited to be here. Um, first of all, kudos to your first two girls. Um, Alma and I have never met, but if she is a friend of Debbie George, and I know she's a powerful gal, um, Debbie really was shy in sharing um, her purpose. Do you know, Terrence, quickly, that this girl has done two 50-mile marathons? Wow. She a coach for others. Um, she is very... Um, her her wellness and her focus on fitness and health is something that she has also helped many people to really help them through the decision of of doing what they have to do to be fit. So I, I love that about her, too. She really is unstoppable um, in that regard as well. And it's been my pleasure to get to know her more. Well, you know, we we just can't let that go by without having Debbie come back and talk about a little bit about that. Debbie, are you back live with us? I'm here. Yes, thank you so much, Mary. That was so nice of you. Debbie, oh, two yes. marathons? Yes. Come on. 50 miles. I did, yeah. 50 miles. It was, um, yeah, I always had the goal to run a 50-mile run. I'm a, I'm a runner, and then I became a certified run coach also as another um, just for fun. Okay. So you not only help people with their fashion sense, you not only help people look better, you help people feel better, and you help them go further than they thought they could go by themselves. Is that true? Absolutely. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow, Debbie, you truly are an unstoppable woman. And I can't say you're walking in your purpose because you're running in your purpose. <laughs> I love it. Well, we are we are definitely going to take more time to to honor you, Debbie, for all you do. But let's talk to you, Mary. Mary, tell our okay. audience a little bit about you, why you do what you do. And um, why you are an unstoppable woman walking in your purpose. Absolutely. Um, my background is corporate background. Um, but my love has been to help others. And I found out very quickly in the corporate world that I really wasn't in total control of how I could help others. I was being directed. Um, I worked for a company named Arthur Anderson, I'm sure everyone that rings a bell with many people. Um, and I loved what I did because it connected me with individuals on a business level, but it's really hard to help people um, in a corporate structure at a personal level. Um, so I made a lot of friends, and um, after Arthur Anderson um, was no longer, I was really searching for a way that I could help other individuals and small businesses and even go into nonprofit organizations to really help each of those entities um, to understand the value in simplifying their life and um, being intentional. And once I connected with a company that did not allow me to sell things but allowed me to focus on the individual and then help them navigate with um, um, how to reach the individual or small business or nonprofit's goal. <clears throat> um, it just made sense to me, and it just clicked. 
Um, I have a extensive background with helping developmentally and um, developmentally disabled individuals, and um, you know I've started a couple of little uh, grassroots efforts of um, helping the homeless, and so I'm always looking to maximize my 24-hour day. And in our walks, whether you're at the grocery store or whether you're out and about or whether um, you're just socializing with people, we really have the opportunity of getting to know them, reaching out, and really understanding um, some of the struggles they go through. And I have been very blessed and very fortunate that, as you can tell, I have the gift of gab, but I also have a very good ear. I listen to what people are saying, and I am able then to meet up with them again and better understand what perhaps they were saying and then help them um, navigate through um, their struggles, whether it's wellness, whether it's they want to be connected with. um, I mean, I do have a large network, so I like connecting people to bigger and better things um, to help them. And that's what this company allows me to do. Um, Primarily, we focus on workshops, wellness workshops, so that we can better understand the individual. We have provided these workshops at small businesses and, of course, nonprofits. And we even offer a wellness program, a a corporate wellness program, that can come alongside um, a, a corporation and really help them educate their employees on ways to keep um, a healthy immune system and simplify the way they do things now, which which has been so, so wonderful to to see how that, to see that fruition actually unfold. So I'm very blessed, very blessed. So Mary, you know, wellness is one of those buzzwords that is thrown around a lot these days. What what actually is wellness? Can you hear me, Debbie? Debbie, can you hear me, Debbie? Hello. Can you hear me, Debbie? Can you hear me, Mary? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Live radio, things happened. (laughs) So tell me. Oh, I just hope. Was I? Yeah, you were. You you were fine. You were absolutely fine. So I was saying, you know, we throw this word wellness around. It's one of those buzzwords in in the world today. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is wellness? Wellness begins with the recognition that you see yourself at a better place. Then when that visual is there, it's a decision. And when the person has decided to no longer be where they are physically, mentally, you know, financially, chasing um, the, the latest and the greatest or the next deal or just even running store to store or trying to keep up with the science, I mean, that's exhausting. And so wellness is a concept everyone wants. But it's often very difficult to navigate through their busy lives, um, their family lives, their financial lives. And so when they make the decision to be well, go to the next level for them, I'm there to help them. Um, Through that decision, I can be their accountability coach, as I know that's a wonderful phrase you use. Yes. you know, to, to hold people accountable, to throw the goals out there, and then they need to be encouraged. And I love encouraging people. I believe that we were put on this earth to help people, and part of that is to help people recognize that they're unique. I know, Terrence, you and I have talked about this before. We're in alignment, you and I, with how each of us were put on this earth for a reason. There are no accidents, just like this show tonight, just like you and I meeting at BNI, which is actually an acronym for Business Networking International. Um, It's a powerful group that connects all types of professions, um, and, and there are no accidents. So 
in answer to your question, wellness starts with a visual, then it's a decision. And then at that point, people have to be helped to navigate because they could spend a lot of time trying to discern truth from fiction, fact from myth, and it's exhausting. And then they'll give up. So people do need the help of someone that can understand their life. I mean, we get very um, close with the people that we're helping because we're understanding what obstacles, have, what has preve prevented them um, from achieving some of these goals, and then we help them. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Yes, it does. And I, and I love how you said nothing happens by accident. We all are placed on this earth with a purpose. And, you know, once we find once we find our purpose, it's, it's an exciting thing, but it doesn't end there. You know, we've got to uh, I like to say we've got to learn how to feed our purpose and then we've got to learn mm -hmm. how to fuel our purpose and what I like about what you're doing as well as what Debbie and Alma and all the women at Southside Networking Women are doing you are doing all three of those things you are you are finding your purpose you're helping other people find their purpose and then through what you do as a wellness coach and what you do with Melaleuca and what you do with B&I you're helping people feed their purpose you're helping them get that mm -hmm. knowledge necessary for them to really walk in their purpose you're helping them to put the strategies in place to effectively work on their purpose and then you guys are fueling your purpose by putting each putting people together collaboration uh, you know as you well know I wrote a book called the power of collaboration along with eight other gentlemen from across the country who all knew the value of how collaboration could help them move faster and move farther than they ever could by themselves so what you're doing mm -hmm. with uh, with with Melaleuca and what you're doing with BNI is helping people <clears throat> get better results in their wellness life faster and then allowing mm -hmm. them to go farther in that journey than they probably ever could by themselves so I applaud you for Perfect. that so mm -hmm. tell, right. tell us briefly what are some of the, as a as wellness coach with Melaleuca, what's some of the things that they can, uh, can get from uh, partnering with mm -hmm. you in Melaleuca? Sure. Well, what we try to do is focus on the individual. So I, I encourage everyone to take a pledge, really do some reflection, and then go to um, notoxinzone, the number two dot com. This is where they will receive a five-minute video education on the importance of being intentional um, of what they, you know, it starts with nutrition. Um, the next thing is what you're bringing home. Debbie referred to being a nail technician. Well, those chemicals in that environment on a regular basis made her incredibly sick, and yet we think that our home or our business, the environment within, does not matter. It does matter. Um, and so, no, that's N-O, toxin, T-O-X-I-N, the word zone, Z-O-N-E, and the number two, dot com, is a place where they can get that five-minute sneak peek, which just is the tip of the iceberg of what they need to understand and decide they no longer want to participate in. They no longer want to bring these chemicals home. Um, and maybe people are eating organic and they're still not understanding why they're not able to make their fitness goal. Well, maybe their their environment in their home or business is at a chemical um, uh, environment that can actually shut down metabolism. So I do ask that people review that and if they're open to a conversation, this is not about pushing or stalking or convincing people. We take their hand and we walk with them as they navigate to their goal. So there is a pledge, there is a, um, a contact form there that they would be pledging. Um, and that pledge would be, I really want to pledge just my home. Or I want to learn more about pledging my home and body or just my body. 
or I want to learn more about my home, body, and environment. Um, how can I better the world? So there's areas of the pledge that people can take, and their information will drop directly to my email. I will have a conversation with them, and we'll see if the information is enough for them to want to walk forward. Um, but because we don't sell products, and I certainly would much prefer people connect with me so I can help them navigate through this wellness giant, understand that we're the largest wellness giant in North America. Um, that's profound. And so it's not about necessarily jumping in. It's about understanding um, the line of products. And I have an extensive background for that. And I can certainly answer any questions. So um, the real value is to have a conversation um, because the, the company is very unique. And really, we provide a virtual tour of it. You can't just jump online and, and start obtaining what you think you need, what you think you want. It's really a virtual tour of this giant, and you see if it's a good fit. Um, and I'd love the opportunity of helping people. So I would also ask people to perhaps look on Facebook. I have a Facebook page called A Healthy Direction. Um, this is where I'm constantly educating consumers on um, what's in the news, um, the $72 million lawsuit from Johnson & Johnson, um, you know, uh, the, the um, attorney general that came in and wiped off the vitamins from GNC, Walgreens, Target, and Walmart and found that there was absolutely nothing. 85% of those supplements had nothing from what was on the label in that supplement. Um, I have information on how laundry pods still poison our toddlers. Um, you know, bleach doesn't kill mold. I mean, just it's a, it's a wealth of information on that page. And I encourage people to be educated because we are approaching a Think Pink month where everything's going to go Think Pink. Yet we're not paying attention to ways that we can choose and prevent cancer and disease. We don't need any more awareness of breast cancer. What we need is to stop voting for companies that have hormone disruptors, phthalates, and parabens in the products. And that's where I come in. Well, you know, Mary, you definitely to make a Mary, you better. definitely sound very passionate about what you do. And that's the that's the important thing uh, that I love about both of you ladies as we bring Debbie back in on the call. You guys are both very passionate about what you're doing. You're passionate about your purpose and you're passionate about helping each other. So uh, as we begin to wrap up, I'm going to throw it back to you, Mary. And I just for for the the woman who feels like there is a purpose, but she is not walking in that purpose yet. I want both of you ladies to say, give give one piece of advice you give to that woman right now. And Mary, we'll start with you. Sure. I would tell that woman to get in a quiet place and do some self-reflection. Think of their history. Think of all they've been through and understand that at any time they can use that education, that personal journey, and make it completely different. Use the good, the bad, the indifferent, all the people, and use that as a supplement, a strengthening of who they can be, and then decide to be that person. And go out and help the people that you feel you can because of your journey. That's what I would tell them. <laughs> Wonderful. And Debbie, the same question to you. What would you tell that woman who is thinking about a purpose, maybe has a burning desire inside of her, but hasn't pulled the trigger yet? What would you say to that woman? I would say to that lady um, to make a list. Make a list so that they can see a clearer picture. Um, to sit down somewhere quiet, um, and just reflect and make a list and 
and that'll you will learn a lot from the, the from the list. Excellent. Excellent. Well, you ladies are definitely doing some great things, living on the next level of your greatness. Debbie, I know you have to run, so I thank you so much for being on the call. Uh, you can reach out to Debbie George on Facebook You uh, under Debbie George, uh, the fashion coach. You can also check her out at southsidenetworkingwomen.org. Uh, there's going to be a great a bevy of information on that website, so that make sure you go over there. And then Mary, you can reach Mary also on Facebook uh, and uh, tell them that, that the wellness page again, Mary. It's called A Healthy, A Healthy Direction. And then they can go to no toxins dot org you said no 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 it's no toxin zone the number two dot com that will not only give them the video educational component but the opportunity to connect with me by completing the pledge if they scroll down that page and then of course um, I talk with many people and I'm open to anyone's conversation um, 708-699-6538. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mary, uh, for being a part of the Unstoppable Stories show. Thank you for doing what you do to promote wellness uh, within the community and throughout the world. And, and thank you for being an unstoppable woman walking in your purpose. Yes, can I also throw out that we do have business meetings once a month. And Terrence, I want to thank you because you are actually going to be speaking at that business meeting at Heroes West in Joliet. It is a private business meeting, but those that want to come and hear Terrence speak can always connect with me and we can, uh, we can, we can make sure that that happens. So um, I thank you in advance for the way you will be speaking to us. Well, on October 4th. Well, thank you for the invitation, and I'm looking forward to, to speaking before your group, talking about helping them find their purpose, feed their purpose, and fuel their purpose. And I know if they're anything like you, Mary, then they're all unstoppable people. Thank you so much for, for taking a little bit of your time to be on our show this evening, okay? Thank you so much, Terrence. You, Enjoy the night. You are so welcome. That was Mary Damiani, well, wellness coach with Melaleuca as far as the business, as well as the Business Networking International, uh, doing great things in the community. Well, folks, that is a wrap. Thank you for being a part of the Unstoppable Story Show with Terrence Leftridge, where we talk to ordinary people with unstoppable stories. If you are interested in being a guest on the Unstoppable Stories show, then I need you to go ahead and email me at Terrence at UnstoppableCoaching.com. Terrence at UnstoppableCoaching.com. I want to hear your story. I'm sure it's an unstoppable story. I'm sure it's a story that's going to change somebody's life. I'm sure that you are able to affect change in the lives of others because you are unstoppable. Until we connect again, I don't want you to just have a great week. I want you to have an unstoppable week. And here's to living your life on the next level. Take care, family. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye.